in the percentage of new cases for more than three weeks now. And joining me today is Dr. Jeff DeLisi. He is the Chief Medical Officer at Virginia Hospital Center. And doctor, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks, Allison. Thanks for having me. Well, first things first, how are things going right now at the hospital? You know, Northern Virginia preparing to hopefully reopen at the end of the month. Have you noticed a change? Yeah, you know, fortunately, over the uh, course, I would say about the last two weeks, we have seen some declines uh, in the number of patients at our hospital. Um, so it's been really encouraging to see that all of the hard work that has gone on here in Northern Virginia, the social distancing um, has had an impact. We feel that it, it probably has flattened the curve. We're starting to see that decline. It's certainly not time to uh, let up on social distancing and the guidance that, that continues to come out from our state. But again, at least we're seeing some encouraging numbers here at, at Virginia Hospital Center. And speaking of numbers, can you tell us how many COVID patients the hospital has treated to date? Yeah, we, we've tried to keep those numbers. We report them through the state. The state has a very... Uh, a specific method of reporting. So just trying to keep things consistent, we, we give those numbers to the state. But again, as I said, uh, we've seen a really nice decline, upwards of almost 30% in the numbers that we're taking care of day to day here, which has been great to see. That is good news. And when you talk about the decline and you talk about the potential for us to reopen in the Northern Virginia area, does that concern you at all that perhaps there could be another wave or a surge because of the reopening? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Governor North, yeah, Governor Northam has really, uh, and the state has put out some, I think, guidelines on the different phases of reopening. And I think it's going to be really important for people to follow those recommendations really closely. Um, we need to continue to social distance. Um, Got to be careful in, in how many people are in various uh, organizations like restaurants and gyms. And I think if people follow the, the guidelines for reopening really closely, um, we can hopefully safely get through phase one to phase two. But if people don't follow those guidelines, uh, and you know, certainly we're going to be watching real closely, there's, there's certainly the uh, probability that we could see either a mini surge, another surge, um, or COVID become more rampant again in our area. Yeah, I think that is so important for all of us to hear and to understand that just because things start to reopen, it doesn't mean you just go back to behaving the way we all did before coronavirus. And a lot of that is because the people you work with are the ones who are on the front lines, you yourself. What are some of the extra safety measures you all are taking at the hospital to protect not just the patients, but the staff as well? Yeah. So, you know, ever since the beginning of this pandemic, we've been, we think, right at the forefront of making sure that, number one, our staff had all of the right protective equipment to make sure that they could safely take care of patients. And when our staff have the right equipment, that means that our patients have uh, the right safety to be able to come to the hospital and safely receive care. You know, one of the things that we've been really worried about is, you know, we're starting to see some of it trickle in, but um, non-COVID illnesses that uh, patients have been suffering from and they just haven't come to the hospital to seek treatment for it mm. or haven't gone to their doctors to seek treatment for it because they're afraid of getting COVID from a hospital or getting COVID at a doctor's office. One of the things we've done at Virginia Hospital Center is any patient who gets a surgery here uh, or a cardiac catheterization procedure, an interventional radiology procedure, a bronchoscopy or a colonoscopy, um, we are doing an, a rapid test on those patients. So on the day of the procedure, we're literally doing that test right in the preoperative area, right in the pre-procedural area. And so that allows our staff and the patient to know right then, right on that day, do you have COVID or not with a very high degree of certainty. And why that's so important is if the patient has COVID and for whatever reason they emergently need that surgery, we can make sure all of our staff are in the right gear to safely take care of that patient. And if they don't have COVID, then we can safely proceed. And we still have our staff in the right protective equipment. Um, we'll make sure that the patient is masked when they can be. And so we can really make it very, very safe um, for patients and for our staff to take care of patients. In fact, we've seen less yeah. of a rate of transmission here at the hospital than we think is out in the community. Right. Well, that way, obviously, if you do that rapid test, everybody knows what they're dealing with, patients, staff, and everyone 